Hey everybody, this is Angry Hog. Just saw on BleacherReport.com that coach Paul Petrino is sitting out in the land of potatoes running his mouth about our football team this past season. There is a few things I agree with in the article that John L. Smith, Paul Petrino, Paul Haynes all said that the worst thing that happened for the season was a 10-month contract for John L. Smith. Hey, we all agree with that. But Paul Petrino takes it a little bit further. He said he believed there was an a element of, well, you guys aren't going to be here next year. We're going to have all new coaches next year anyway, so they just didn't give it their best. Hey, coach. If you're a coach and you see this attitude in a kid, you straighten them up. You sit them on the bench. You don't play them. Well, coach, Coach Petrino, the new head potato out in Idaho, Angry Hog says it's not that the players gave up on the team. It's that they gave up on y'all. The only part of the team that got better as the season went along was the defense. Because we lost to LSU by four points. I mean, hey, that means that our defense got better. We stopped, stopped the team from scoring 52 points on us like Alabama flogged us in Fayetteville. At least the defense got a lot better during the season. The offense didn't do a dang thing the whole season. Ever since we lost to ULM, they couldn't score. They, they couldn't do anything. And it all falls down to the offensive coordinator not doing his job. Don't you say that the team, the players gave up on the team. No, they gave up on you. They knew from your time at Illinois that you suck as an offensive coordinator without Bobby Petrino. You don't know what you're doing without Bobby Petrino being there. I mean, history proved that. Well, Bobby Petrino wasn't there and John L. Smith was in charge. Well, Maybe he should have, you should have had Bobby Petrino texting you, calling you on your cell phone and telling you what to do because you sure didn't know what to do when the players supposedly gave up during the game. Bobby Petrino would have lit a fire under him and got him back out there to win the game. Y'all couldn't do that. So, Angry, you, you've lit a fire in, under Angry Hog that hasn't been lit since we lost to ULM and then I went to the Fayetteville game when we played Alabama and we got flogged 52 to nothing. Yeah, that irritated me. I drove four hours to watch us score zero points and to lose 52 to nothing. Do I think the players gave up? Yeah, the players gave up. But they didn't give up on the team. They gave up on the coaches because they knew y'all sucked. They knew you were out the door at the end of the season. They knew when we lost to ULM that y'all were gone. Razorback Nation knew y'all were gone. The world knew that you were gone. The aliens in outer space knew that y'all were gone when you lost to ULM. I don't care if y'all would have won every game the rest of the season you lost to ULM y'all would not be back at Arkansas plain and simple y'all sucked as a coaching staff the only part of the team as I stated earlier that got better was the defense we went from a 52 to 0 flogging to we lost by four points to LSU, who was the third best team in the SEC. So, the whole team didn't give up. The defense believed in Paul Haynes because they kept getting better. He was a better coach. He kept on focus. 
he said, get better. And the defense got better. Offense, Paul Petrino that you were in charge of, sucked. Should have been great. I mean, we were leading the nation in offense the year your brother the year before your brother got fired. Last year, we sucked. We couldn't score points. We couldn't do anything. Except against Kentucky, that was the worst team in probably the nation. Auburn, which was the worst team in the nation. I mean, and then we picked off two more games. I mean, hello. I mean, yeah. Easy to say, throw the kids under the bus and say they gave up. No. just Let's just call a spade a spade. The coaching at the University of Arkansas last season sucked. I mean, plain and simple. I don't even know how you got a head coach at Idaho. Is Idaho Division One? Is 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 Idaho or Division Two? I mean, you took a pay cut, so I know that you want to be a coach. But Paul, you will never, and I mean never, be a Bobby Petrino. I know that sucks to hear that your bigger, your older brother. You'll never be your older brother. Well, I'm here to tell you. Angry Hog is here to tell you. You will never be a Bobby Petrino. They come around once in a lifetime. You ride the coattails with Bobby P like you should. And you'll be a pretty decent offensive coordinator. You venture off on your own. And try to do it yourself. It don't work for you, buddy. It don't work for you. So, I mean, you made me mad because you threw our team under, our players under the bus saying that they gave up on the team. No, I just got to set the record straight and say they gave up on you because you sucked as an offensive coordinator this past season at the University of Arkansas. And... That's all I got to say about it from here on out. I, I hope you have luck out there in the land of potatoes up in Idaho. Granted, I, I'm, I'm really mad because you threw our players under the bus. But I, I sincerely do wish you luck because you did spend some time at the U of A in Fayetteville. And, I mean, it's kind of hard. It's really hard to say that I wish you luck. But, Paul, I do wish you luck. And, out of all this, I just want you to know, you need to keep your mouth shut about throwing players under the bus like that. That don't sit well with Angry Hog. But, I'm about to get out of here because I'm, I'm about to have a heart attack. I'm so worked up because that made me so mad when I saw that bleacher report pop up saying, Paul Petrino said the team gave up. The players gave up on the team. Well, I just wanted to tell you, no, they gave up on you, buddy. They gave up on you. Woo, pig suey, and angry hog is out.